Okay guys, so this is my Cincinnati 5B C750. I think it's a 1989. I've been retrofitting this thing for the last uh, maybe nine months. Got them Chinese server drives. NEMA 42 on X and Y is back there and I got a uh, NEMA 52 with a brake on it on a C axis uh, I cleaned it a few days ago Got an endless drive for the servo. I mean, not for servo, for the spindle. Uh, cheap Chinese BFD for the hydraulic pump that runs the pretty much the whole machine. And this little one here is for the flute pump. I didn't want to buy another pump. I left the original pump on it. That's the Y axis uh, servo right there. I don't know if you can see it. Breaking resistor on the LS drive. It's a S100 series, 15 horse. Uh, I'm only using, uh, I think it's a, yeah, 5.5 kilowatt motor. Which I think it's like seven horse or something like that. That's full power. Uh, I think it uh, goes from 3.7. To 5.5 kilowatts and I had all my inputs put in I got Sam I don't know if you know him uh, he's got a YouTube channel and he's doing the macros and the and the brain for my ATC setup this machine came like that but it was really old I think it's in 1989 anyway well, the reason I made this video, I, I probably made another video later. Uh, on this control card, I don't know if some of you, if you don't have this one, I mean, this is not for you. I had different cars and, and I just like this one. But uh, what the problem that I was having is I was trying to get a index input on let's say on on input 15 and or 14 that i'm not using uh just set it up like an index but this card it already have an input and i don't know i haven't checked on mac but they probably got some kind of brain already made into it that really you don't have to set nothing up just to put an input uh to this input right here which it says a speed and and that's pretty much the way they call it they call it a whole switch so that's how I figured that because uh, I didn't know what to do with that input and I thought you know I had to use 15 and I mean 14 and 15 to send a signal into Mac so I can index uh, but pretty much as soon as you hook up uh, uh, proximity switch or you know any input uh, from 5 to whatever bolt uh, I mean not whatever but anyway uh, 24 volts uh, it will automatically uh, send the index signal over to Mac so I can see it the way I test it is uh, it, that, well that's in case some of you guys have this cord this control cord and you're having problem using trying to get the index on 14 or 15 or whatever index i mean whatever input you can decide you want to use for that oh. it really didn't work for me it might work for you if it worked for someone uh please uh let me know i really like to know that's pretty much what i'm doing all this i want to learn so 
the way I done it is I sent me this input oh uh, I mean this uh proximity switch on the spindle and it will see it will read here on the the locking the locking pins for the uh, for the tool I just set it over there put a tie rod in, uh tie wrap in it and it'll it work and then after I tried that I went up here and took the the encoder wheel that he had on it because he had a lot of pulses and I don't think Mac is gonna read uh, that many pulses that he had and uh, and just sent me this uh, maybe this kind of this came out of I don't know a space or washer or a big washer that I had over there I put it on the lathe and and, and took uh, kind of machine the inside so we'll kind of press fit on the shaft and then just got one of those proximity sensor which I already tested and I know it works down there on the on the spindle and and try it uh, I really didn't try uh, to use this which this was a wheel that was back there on the on the motor shaft with uh, okay the encoder sensor I guess if you can call it like that it was set up up there but this is a five volt and it's a high uh, an active active high so it will send a high voltage when uh, you know when it read the signal and that car that I'm using it's have to be an MPN so pretty much that this car here is looking for a low uh, so a low input like ground pretty much if you want to send a signal to it uh, yeah well that's what I got for you uh, if you want to use that cord you got to use a MPN sensor that's what worked with them. It could be either one of them, an active low or high. I'm trying to go with uh with low, so I always send a low to the car. That's what she's looking for, and I don't go crazy trying to set it up. And and this is what I done. Machine the inside, cut these grooves on the other mill, and uh, and that's what it's doing there. So. I just gotta put the core back in and it should be all right. Uh, again, this is a, a Mac 3 setup. I took all the computer, uh, all PLC and computer, whatever it had. It used to have tapes in here. Like when you open this, it will have tapes and that's why it runs some kind of old school thing. And this is a setup I've been doing uh, right where the tape uh, thing used to be I put my my computer over there which later I want to add another monitor or touchscreen monitor over there so I can control uh, this one here and this is how it looks You, you guys probably know this screen set. Uh, Sam is fixing this. Uh, he sent me, he was the one that made this screen set uh, with the ATC. Because I got 24 tools, uh, carousel. So he kind of custom made this for me. Um, still waiting on few more sensors because I ordered I ordered the wrong sensor twice so I order MPN normally closed and I really want MPN normally open and so I'm gonna change it I'm gonna change all of these sensors again 
I put them over there. This is the old ones that I had on it. I put all of these over there. On the power drawbar, lock and release. I don't know if you can see it. Right, it's on release. Right now it's on release. And uh, the jaws that are gonna pick up the tools. Let's stand and retract up and down because this thing will go down and when the when the spindle goes up and uh, this one is twisting to the spindle now you can see it twist to the spindle and, and when it goes the other way it's going to turn the other one on it's got a homing sensor for the carousel it's got a Speed sensor or pretty much position sensor on the hydro motor that runs the spindle. I mean, runs it, the carousel, and it's got a locking pin that locks the 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 carousel in place anytime you change the tool, so it will stay in place. And that's about it. I probably made another video when I got it running. She's already running, but I'm just trying to finish some, some stuff. 